Happy Labor Day guys! Well, things are looking pretty good, pretty damn good because first of all, when you look at where AMC traded today in Europe, this is the German stock exchange, you can see that it ended up the day, you know, two and two, I mean, more than two, five percent. This is, it's a green day, all right? Um, I don't know exactly how this will translate to the trading session when we start tomorrow, but things are looking pretty 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 good after this long weekend remember that the last day amc did have a major run up coming from you know trusting those 60 70 was after memorial day so amc has the tendency to do pretty damn good after long weekends but hey guys it's not because the guy said on youtube that's gonna happen exactly that way i, th I hope you already get it so so far now going to the box of the box office Cheng Shi packs punch at box office in opening weekend. This is one hell of a news we, get, we just got from the movie theaters in general. The movie just, you know, it's looking to pass 90 million in the US box office in the first four days, setting a Labor Day weekend record to boot according to Variety. This is just for the Labor Day weekend. This is not even for the pandemic, guys. This is Labor Day weekend. So. After what Black Widow did and lots of other movies, you kind of, you know, it's, it starts to change the narrative that Wall Street and media have said here. Like, movie theaters are dead. It's not going anywhere. They were already crippling with so much debt before. Yeah, maybe it is true. But the thing is, it seems like things are still, I mean, people are still loving to get out and go to the movies. All right? So... That may be a big, that may give a big tailwind to the talk uh, 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 this coming week because just look at all of these big suits who increase their positions along the way since quarter, the second quarter of the year. But when you also look at how the short sellers are doubling down, I mean, this is the big, I mean, all the list of the companies shorting AMC Entertainment. I mean, the data is a little bit not up to date. It's a little bit far mid August, but still, it gives you pretty good, you know, insight on where we stand. Six Adriatic Capital Management. They increased almost six hundred and fifty percent. Citadel increased forty eight percent. Now sitting on eight point four million shares shorted. And then you have Bank of America, plus. A big one, 44,000%. This is Simplex trading, sitting on 14.2 million shares. Million shares. I don't know the exact cost average of these guys, but looking by where you know we get this information around mid-August, where were the stocks sitting mid-August? Well, way be way below what we're seeing now. So they are already losing a ton of money based on what they're getting for, all right? So looking at where we stand now on the chart, I mean, I don't need to make a drawing, guys. So we just have to wait and be patient. I mean, they had to make us look bad for buying a stock to make them look good, but things are changing. The narrative is changing and there would definitely be the guys to be holding the big bags. I mean, 